Hello antique fans and welcome to my antique channel. This is Deanna speaking from Vintage Touch Antiques. Today I have a large new arrivals merchandise delivery to share with you that I will be delivering to my Vintage Touch Antique booth October the 19th, 2016. This uh, large amount of merchandise includes Christmas merchandise that I'll be putting into my booth as well as pieces for a Christmas display and also for a pewter display that I'll be adding. So I've got quite a few things to show you and so let's just get right in and I hope I don't forget to give you the prices on things. Sometimes I overlook that. So if I do just send me a comment and I'll get that for you. Okay, I've got a lot of my Christmas merchandise right here set out on this table to show you. So let's just start here in the front. This is a Bell's Nickel type of Santa. It's a candy mold and it does have a date down there on it. I don't know if it's a, that's an original date or if that's just a, to indicate that that's when those kind of molds were popular. But that piece is $13. I have some paper mache Santas, a couple of them, and here's one. And this one is seven and a quarter inches. Uh, he does have a few little nicks and stuff that you often see in paper mache, and he is priced at $25. I have this nice large wicker Santa sleigh, which would be great for display purposes to load it with anything, including Santas. And this wicker uh, sleigh is priced at $25. Here's a folding wood uh, village fence and uh, this one is 12, it's got 12 sections to it. It folds up flat which makes it nice for storage and this one is priced at $25. In the back here, I hope you can see it among these other things, is the cutest little folk art house. I think I showed this in one of my haul videos. This one is probably from the 1930s and 40s, but I think with the red roof it really did uh, look like a great piece to add with Christmas uh, pieces. So I have that one priced at $39. Okay, move up here to the front again. Now this piece is a little tin litho train car and it is marked Germany and I think trains usually go well with Christmas things and so it is priced at fifteen dollars. I have one little celluloid reindeer here that's got red eyes and he's three inches and he's priced at seven dollars. This is a great little chenille Santa and I've got him sitting in this uh, mica sleigh but this little Santa is five and a half inches and he's priced at twenty-nine dollars. I'll stick him right there in that sleigh. And then this mica sleigh, which is a 7.5 inch long one, is priced at thirteen dollars. I have a few bottle brush trees and early uh, Christmas trees that I'm putting in. Here's a couple of little tiny ones, three and a half inches and three inches, and they're three dollars a piece. Here's another Santa paper mache. He is seven and a half inches. He also has some characteristic, you know, wear to the surface there, but he's priced at fifteen dollars. I, I got a good buy on him, so I'm passing that along to my customer. This is a larger bottle brush tree. I have one this size that's 10 inches and it's priced at $10. And then I have my clay face Santas along the back here along with one other one there on skis. And this one here on skis is priced at $59. He's five and a half inches. This little Japan Santa, five and a quarter inches is $45. This one is a Japan 7 inch Santa with the clay face. He's got the blue cloth pants, holds a feather tree. He's priced at $99. And then this larger one, which is really nice, and I think 
uh, his early German piece. He's eight and a quarter inches tall with the blue pants. He's got the clay hands as well as the clay face, feather tree, and the um, ceramic or like pottery boots that are painted black. And he is priced at $139. And the one down there is $49, that little um, Santa on skis right there. Now this camera is on automatic and sometimes the focus comes and goes, so I apologize for that, but it does give me more light, so I'm just going to try to work with it. Okay, these pieces here, this little bridge as you can see down in here, along with this little piece is a straw uh, roof hut. And these are German village pieces, puts kind of pieces. There's a twig bridge. Here's again some more bottle brush trees. The bridge is $12. Now this loofah tree is $12.50. And those trees back there in the back, I've got them at five and can't see that one. Seven. There's a little framed Christmas postcard. What's well, a Christmas wish? Some kind of a card framed that's from the 1880s and it's seven dollars. In the front here I've got some ornaments and bulbs that are early pieces. I uh, hope you can see there that's a Japan star bulb. There's a Santa bulb and that Santa bulb is four and a half inches and he's priced at 25 and then I have a blown Angel there, and she's priced at 25 That star is $6. And a couple of early ornaments. These, because they have a lot of paint loss, I just have them at $2 a piece. And then the little um, pine cone there is 7 Now this piece is a candy container, and it does have that interior that you see in these early German candy caners, containers. It's... Um, Got that uh, glitter look to it, and I do think it's German, even though it doesn't say Germany, and it is nine dollars. Now, there is a bird blown glass bird ornament that clips on if you can see his clip on thing there, okay, and he's ten dollars. And then here is a beaded cross ornament from the Victorian era where they made these early beaded ornaments and this one is priced at $10. And here I'll let you it's a, got such a great ring to it. Those are camel bells and that string of bells is priced at $13. Okay, towards the front here I'm going to add into my Christmas display this let's see if I can get that a little better. This uh, green high chair which I think will look good in the display and this high chair is priced at $99 sitting inside of this high chair is one of these old cast iron tree stands and that piece is priced at $10 I'll be adding to the display this little just a little stand that's got all this chippy paint but it's got red paint which I think is really great for Christmas and um, that one is priced at $29. And I'll be adding some toys that you often see in Christmas displays, like toy musical instruments. And here's a little drum with the, um, with the drumsticks, and um, it's priced at $20. That little stand was $29. If I forgot that, I don't remember. Here's a little tin litho banjo, and it's priced at $15. Here is an early top has the handle that makes it a little bit more unusual than just the top itself and that piece is it's all wood and it's priced at 25 and then I have a tin saxophone it's all 10 12 inches long and it's priced at $15 okay this section now see if I can make sure that this is focusing for me I've got, like I said, I was going to do a pewter display as well, so I've got a lot of pewter pieces pulled out here that's going to make for a nice display. I personally think that pewter goes so well 
in a primitive or country setting at Christmas time when you add the greenery and stuff and red berries and so forth with it. So I'm putting this out. Okay, I'm going to go through these pieces. This first piece is unusual. It does have, and I don't know if you can see it or if it's picking it up, right there on the edge. It um, has an embossed lettering. Uh, tells you that it's a Peter Blanchard pedestal um, pewter bowl. And it has on there Elks Lodge number 1497, Burbank, California, $29. And that is like a pedestal bowl, if you can see the pedestal part there. This is a pewter Concord pewter porringer for $10. Here's a little pewter cup, Pools pewter sip cup for $10. I've got some little pewter plates here. Here's a little underplate, just four and a half inches for eight dollars. Some of these have the names on them and some are not marked. They're just pewter. Here's another little plate for four dollars. This is an oval, which I think would make a great centerpiece. It's got the handles on both sides. I use a lot of this type of stuff in my decorations and this one's priced at $12. Then here's a pewter sugar bowl back here. I don't think it does. It's just marked genuine pewter and it's $9. Here's a gravy boat. A great one that you could fill with a lot of, use your imagination, fill them with those small ornaments or something and they would look so pretty. And this one is, um, let's see, Alloy Art Pewter for nine dollars and here's a nice I like the shape of this pewter vase it's a William A Rogers and that's priced at nine dollars get that one out of the way we've got a, a smaller sugar bowl here in the front priced at seven dollars and it's a New England pewter and a little creamer which I think is really cute He's priced at $6. Now this pewter piece is also a pedestal bowl. You can see that piece just filled with greenery and beautiful Christmas decorations. It's got a lot of character because it's uneven and so forth, which adds to the primitive look. As you can see how it leans on one side. It's really cute. Um, and that one is $15. Get that one out of the way. And the last pewter piece here is this pitcher. It's a federal solid pewter pitcher, priced at $15, and a nice uh, shape design to that piece. Now I'm also, in my Christmas display, I want to add some, you know, doll furniture type of things and some toys like I just showed you with the instruments, but I'm going to be adding like this primitive cradle, which I did show in one of my videos quite a bit of, well, it's been a while now, because I was saving this for the Christmas display. It's such a primitive cradle, and it's just wonderful, and it's got square nail construction, so it's a very early piece, and it's priced at $18, and then this little 15-inch composition doll that I'm going to put in there with that, and it's priced at $35. In the back here, oops, I'm going to add some books. This one is a children's stories from Dickens, uh, dated 1912, $10. Here's one that has that winter scene to it. Little stories for little people. I think that's really cute with the little girls out there in their little coats. And that one's $9. And then the one that just about fell down here, it's called Cheerful Days. They also have their little winter coats on and so forth, like they're getting ready to slide down the hill. And that one is um, dated 1893 and priced at $13. Okay, and along with the um, furniture, the doll furniture type pieces, here's a little hutch that I'm going to be adding and it is priced at 
and then I hope you can see this get it over this way it's a cute little doll size rocker and it's priced at fifteen dollars and it's got the green paint which I think would be good at Christmas time and then finally this is a little gems 1869 prayer book cute little piece and then this is a small little book that is a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens and it's five dollars that little prayer book was ten so those are the pieces that I'll be delivering to my Vintage Touch Antique booth on Wednesday, October 19, 2016. And I would like to invite you to visit me there. You'll find my double space booth that's located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland, on the left side of that mall third row. Just look for the large Vintage Touch sign that hangs in the back of my booth. Please check the description of this video where you can find the link to my web page as well as my online store where I sell a wide variety of vintage and antique pieces. Also, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. And help me to like, I mean if you'd like and share you would help me to get the uh, joy spread out there of collecting antiques and all that you can do with them and decorate with them and so forth. And then finally, let me encourage you to enjoy collecting, enjoy learning about your antiques, enjoy what they represent and the history behind them because when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye till next time.